god, that'll take me a day to do that. This would be enough for today. I'm up at a wall hole or something like that it's called and um, you need a whole day to do a bit of a walk and, I, and there's that big craggy bit up there but to be quite honest I would want to start at 7 o'clock in the morning, um, 9 o'clock I mean to do that to get up there. This might be enough. I might not need to do any more now. The size of those great big slabs that they would have cut stone from them, you see, to make the bricks. It is a remarkable scenery though, isn't it? Northumbria. Earls of Northumberland are in my tree. Wealthy off his, his father, Seward going back into the, um, the back to the Vikings and this would have been a lot rougher ground I would have thought it wouldn't have been like stone walls or well they might have been they might, they might have invented them who knows yeah we should imagine there'd be some sort of structure up here though I mean, look at that bit, that's got a very flat bottom, hasn't it? Yeah, I would have thought. And whether they cut there, they quarried, they probably got their stone out of that quarry. There's probably always been a quarry, a quarry there for them to get this stone. It's natural out the ground, isn't it? Hello, little Balam, little Bram. Got Bram in my pocket. Is walk back down there in a minute. The Romans were here. Yeah, it's not much very populated, is it? If you look, nothing's really been up here. This is, you know, you think England's full up, but come up here, it's bloody empty, isn't it? What a contrast of when I was in Preston. I've done a week now up in Cumberland. Gone into Northumberland to do this bit. And then I'll be over further, a bit not far. I'll be in Scotland. The scary bit. I'm scared really when I'm going to do that bit because I'm, I've got to go... Um, I haven't got a campsite organised or anything, so it's always very scary. I don't know how if the van, how the van's going to do going up the hills. Um, this commentary is all part of the tour, mind. These are problems you face when you're doing when you're a woman on your own as well. You still got them, with, but when you've got someone else, there's not the worry the same. I mean, I had to secure. I did a. I started off early some morning, this morning, so I could get some stuff done. And have a look round for another two or three hours, really good looking round. Like I'm doing again now, because I've secured a place for the night. Because it's all very ad lib, you see. So you get somewhere and you can say, can I stay longer? What's difficult is this is a city bank holiday that they've shoved in now. So I've got Saturday, Sunday, Monday, or Saturday and Sunday. Not Monday. Am um, I going to be difficult and more expensive again? More expensive. I mean, this place is costing me fifteen pound. My van isn't even on the site. I'm not using electricity. Nothing. It's costing me fifteen quid to park it overnight. But I will go and look. I might stop at that other campsite actually just to see. Because I could do with a, 
two, really two nights would, would suited me. I am eager to get up to Scotland. I want to get that bit done. I'm scared that bit's going to scare me because I don't know how the van's going to do up there. I don't know because of the hills. It's a bit of an experiment really. But I've been lucky with the weather today, look. Lucky with the weather today. By Hadrian's Wall. I have seen you in the past a long, long time ago. Um, 1970. It could have been 71 even. No, it was 1970 the last time I was seeing the wall because I was staying with Eileen and my friend, a sailor, John Tucker, he took me to see the wall. He was staying at Eden Hall. It was a hotel. I remember me and him having a meal there. It was really posh. It was quite scary. But then I did have dresses. I could actually dress up. I, you know, I wasn't ever a waiter or anything in those days. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, Eden Hall. And now we're in the wild Northumberland. We're entering North, wild Northumberland. Right, over and out. I'm going to stop there. <laughs>